Back on the phone lines, here is Leonard, who's in London, Ontario. Hello there. Hello. Good afternoon. Afternoon. Thanks for taking my call. You're welcome. David, the last time you were on, I called in and asked about Canadian Energy Services, and you mentioned the fact that you held the stock. And I was curious if you still did because of the recent performance of the stock and if you could explain maybe why the stock has acted so poorly lately. Thank you. I'll hang up and listen to your response. Sure. Well, Leonard, uh, Canadian Energy uh, Services is a company that we own. Uh, you know, the stock was trading at $30 uh, in uh, April. It's trading at $30 today. Uh, I think if you looked at a lot of the energy companies, there's been a little pullback. Or is this it here, CEU? Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah. It's no, true. sorry. No, sorry. It's, that's, that's not, that's so, not CEU. Different. What's the ticker on uh, Canadian Energy? Uh, CEU trading at $30. Hmm. We go to the 10. Maybe we must have a software problem. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. So, so the net of it is um, uh, this company is in the business of providing fluids and chemicals to the fracking industry. And, of course, we know there's a boom in, boom in uh, uh, production, a boom in drilling, uh, and this is a company that benefits. You know, their earnings last year were $0.59. Cents. Uh, they're going to be about $0.95 cents this year. They're probably going to be $1.30 the following year. So earnings growth very, very strong. Stocks pulled back a little bit. There's, there's good support in around the $30 level. Um, there's a lot of energy companies that have pulled back a little over the last few weeks. Uh, it's not something that we're particularly fussed about. Uh, energy services is not the biggest weight in our energy weighting with producers, uh, infrastructure, and then service companies. I think this is one you can buy here. Uh, and I think it's pulled back to natural support. And um, you know, stocks move around. This has had a great run from sort of the mid-teens to 30, and now pulled back a bit. I don't have a problem with it. Have you been adding in general with some of your energy holdings on this pullback? We have a very good weight to begin with. Yeah. We have close to 40% of our equity portfolios and income portfolios uh, attached to energy okay. currently. So actually, if you were to look at the sector we've been adding to most recently, is we've been bumping up our uh, 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 technology weight. Uh, because it's really behaving well. We tend to add to strength. We don't tend to add, to add to stocks that are pulling back. But I think that this one looks as though it's just pulled back and consolidated over the last little bit, and I don't think that there's any major issues. Speaking of technology, we have uh, Mark in Belleville, Ontario, on uh, one of those types of uh, companies. Go ahead, Mark. Uh, yes, my question is on a CGI group. Right now it's in a channel after tripling in stock price over the last four years. But when I see a stock that's stuck in a channel like that, I like to sell covered calls. I'm just wondering if the guests could comment on their uh, future earnings. Thank sure, you. Sure. So, uh, you know, the services companies have been consolidating over the last little while. Uh, stock has been trading in a range sort of 35 to $40 at the high end. Um, if I owned the stock, I would have no problem holding it. Uh, I would probably prefer to buy it as it traded through $40 headed higher. Um, when I look at uh, the technology space, semiconductors have been the most attractive. We've talked about Micron over the last couple of times we've been here. Uh, we also like software. I really like Microsoft. Um, but more specifically because their cash flow generators and very, very strong uh, dividend increases. Um, you know, it's an underperforming stock in the sector right now. I'm not sure I'd be chasing it. If I owned it, I'd hold it. Here is Bob, who's uh, out in uh, Calgary. Hi there, Bob for taking my call, sure. David. Um, I sold part of my Kiera yesterday at about 81, uh, about 20%, and I'm wondering if you see much more upside in the, in the stock. Thanks for taking my call. Bye. Bob, we think that energy infrastructure is in the middle of a very long revaluation versus history. So if you went back five years ago and looked at energy infrastructure, you would have said it's a boring industry with a very low growth rate. Yes, they return capital to shareholders, but there wasn't much dividend growth. Because of the boom in production, of course, companies like Kiera and Pamina uh, and Altagas have had, had very nice growth in cash flow and dividends. This is a company that's going to keep growing its dividend 8 to 10% a year. If you look at their opportunity, uh, they are using about 52% of their capacity in their, in, their, in their major facilities. So there's lots of opportunity to grow very profitable business as they add volumes. Uh, they have two and a half to three and a half billion dollars worth of new projects to build between now and 2020. That's going to provide very good cash flow growth as we go forward. Uh, so, you know, the stock's acting extremely well. 
I think that the big risk is saying it's expensive relative to where it was three or four years ago on an earnings multiple basis. But the fact is that three or four years ago, there wasn't the same growth profile. There wasn't the same obvious opportunity. So I think that these can continue to expand in valuation. They're hitting new highs. Uh, all the shareholders are happy. There's no built-in sellers. Um, I, I would continue to hold the stock. I would continue to buy it here. You would, and you wouldn't wait for at least five or seven percent lower. Look, it, it it can pull back at any time, mm -hmm. but you know, if you waited all the way through here for big pullbacks in these stocks, mm -hmm. you would have missed them the whole way right, along. Right. I think, if nothing else, the opportunity that is becoming, uh, it, that is in front of these companies, is only growing. It's not. It's not waning at this point. You know, some of the some of the proposed changes to uh, to the rail uh, speed limits, for instance. Uh, that's going to put a bit of a crimp in crude by rail, and, and uh, so companies like Kira ultimately, I think, are beneficiaries. Okay, David, a short break here. We'll get to your uh, past picture right after this. Uh, you selected these uh, just about a year ago. They're all winners. Uh, one of them came out with earnings today, and we'll find out to what they are after this.